Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that has absolutely fascinated me for years, the incredible mind of a homing pigeon. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Pigeons? Really? Those birds that people call flying rats? But stick with me here, because what I'm about to share with you will completely change how you see these remarkable creatures. Picture this for a moment. You take a pigeon that's never been more than 50 kilometers from its home loft, put in a basket, drive it 500 kilometers away to a place it's never seen before, release it into an unfamiliar landscape, and somehow, somehow, that bird finds its way home. Not approximately home, not to the general neighborhood, but to its exact loft, often landing within hours of being released. How is that even possible? And more importantly, what's going on inside that small but incredibly sophisticated brain that makes this navigation miracle happen? For decades, scientists dismissed homing pigeons as simple creatures driven purely by instinct. The thinking was that they were basically biological machines programmed by evolution to follow certain cues, but not really thinking or processing information in any meaningful way. But modern research has turned that assumption completely upside down. What we're discovering about pigeon cognition is absolutely mind-blowing, and it's forcing us to completely rethink what we mean when we talk about animal intelligence. Let me start with something that might surprise you. Pigeons can actually recognize themselves in mirrors. Now, self-recognition has long been considered one of the hallmarks of higher intelligence, something we see in great apes, elephants, dolphins, and a few other species we consider particularly smart. But pigeons? They can look in a mirror and understand that they're looking at themselves, not another pigeon. That's not instinct, that's self-awareness. But that's just the beginning. Pigeons have been trained to distinguish between different artistic styles. I'm not kidding, researchers have successfully taught pigeons to tell the difference between paintings by Picasso and Monet. They can learn to categorize abstract art, recognize human faces in photographs, and even distinguish between different emotional expressions. Think about that for a moment. These birds are processing visual information, categorizing it, remembering it, and making decisions based on what they've learned. That's not the behavior of a simple, instinct-driven creature. Now, let's talk about what happens inside a pigeon's brain when it's navigating home across hundreds of kilometers of unfamiliar territory. The traditional view was that pigeons were like living GPS units. They'd lock onto certain signals and follow them mechanically. But the reality is far more complex and fascinating. These birds are constantly processing multiple streams of information, weighing different options, making strategic decisions, and adapting their behavior based on changing conditions. In other words, they're thinking. The navigation system of a homing pigeon is incredibly sophisticated, involving at least five different sensory systems working together. First, there's the sun compass. Pigeons can determine direction based on the sun's position, but here's the remarkable part. They automatically compensate for the sun's movement across the sky throughout the day. This requires an internal clock so precise that it accounts for the sun's movement minute by minute. But it's not just a mechanical calculation. Young pigeons have to learn this system through experience, trial and error, and practice. They're literally learning how to read the sky. Then there's the magnetic compass system, and this is where things get really interesting. Pigeons have magnetite crystals in their beaks and possibly in other parts of their bodies that act like tiny compass needles, allowing them to sense the Earth's magnetic field. But again, it's not just about detecting magnetic north. These birds can sense incredibly subtle variations in magnetic intensity and inclination, variations so small that our most sensitive instruments can barely detect them. They're essentially reading the Earth's magnetic signature like a detailed map. But perhaps the most fascinating navigation system is their olfactory map, their ability to smell their way home. This sounds almost impossible, but the research is compelling. Different geographical areas have distinct scent signatures, different combinations of vegetation, industrial emissions, ocean salt, agricultural activities, and countless other odor sources. Pigeons appear to learn these scent landscapes during their training flights, building up a detailed smell map of their territory. When they're released hundreds of kilometers away, they can actually follow gradients of familiar scents back toward home. It's like having a nose so sensitive you could smell your way from New York to Philadelphia. What's remarkable is how these different navigation systems interact in the pigeon's brain. They're not just using one system at a time. They're integrating information from all of them, cross-referencing what they're sensing, and making intelligent decisions about which information to trust and which to ignore. On a clear day they might rely heavily on their sun compass. On an overcast day, 
they'll weight their magnetic compass more heavily. If they encounter conflicting information from different systems, they have to make judgment calls about which cues are most reliable. This is where we start to see clear evidence of what we can only call thinking. Pigeons released in unfamiliar territory don't just start flying randomly in all directions. They engage in what researchers call exploratory circling. They gain altitude and fly in wide circles, apparently sampling information from all their navigation systems before committing to a direction. Some birds circle for just a few minutes, others for 20 minutes or more. They're gathering data, processing it, and making a conscious decision about which way to go. And here's something that really blows my mind. Individual pigeons have different navigation strategies. Some are what researchers call navigators. They rely heavily on their own sensory systems and tend to fly relatively direct routes home. Others are followers. They prefer to join up with other pigeons and rely partly on social information to guide their journey. Still others are explorers. They'll try multiple different routes, sometimes flying well off the direct line home before correcting course. These aren't just random variations, they're consistent individual differences in how different birds approach the problem of getting home. The learning ability of pigeons is extraordinary. Young pigeons don't just automatically know how to navigate, they have to learn it through experience. They start with short training flights, gradually building up their knowledge of a local area. But it's not just about memorizing landmarks. They're learning the relationships between different cues, figuring out which information sources are most reliable in different conditions, and developing their own personal navigation strategies. I've seen pigeons learn to avoid areas where they've encountered problems before, maybe they got caught in severe turbulence over a particular mountain range, or they struggled with confusing magnetic anomalies near a certain industrial area. They remember these experiences and factor them into future flight planning. That's not instinct, that's learning from experience and applying that knowledge to make better decisions. The memory capabilities of pigeons are genuinely impressive. They can remember specific routes for years, recognizing landmarks and navigation cues even after long periods without flying those routes. Some research suggests they can remember hundreds of different visual landmarks and the spatial relationships between them. They're essentially carrying around detailed mental maps that they constantly update based on new experiences. But it's not just about remembering static information. Pigeons show clear evidence of what psychologists call episodic memory, the ability to remember specific events that happened at particular times and places. They can remember where they found food when they encounter dangers, which routes worked well in different weather conditions. This type of memory was once thought to be unique to humans and perhaps a few other higher mammals. The decision-making processes of homing pigeons are remarkably sophisticated. When faced with challenging conditions, strong headwinds, storms, poor visibility, they have to make strategic choices. Should they push through and fight the headwinds, burning more energy but maintaining progress? Should they find shelter and wait for better conditions? Should they change altitude to find more favorable winds? Should they detour around obstacles even if it means flying extra distance? I've observed pigeons making these kinds of decisions in real time, and it's clear they're weighing different factors and making calculated choices. Some birds are risk-takers. They'll push through challenging conditions to maintain their racing position. Others are conservative. They'll sacrifice speed for safety, choosing routes and strategies that minimize their risk even if it means slower times. These consistent individual differences in decision-making style suggest something much more complex than simple, instinctual responses. The social intelligence of pigeons is another area where recent research has revealed surprising sophistication. Pigeons can recognize and remember individual humans, even when those humans are wearing different clothing or are seen in different contexts. They can learn to distinguish between friendly humans who provide food and threatening humans who might pose danger. Some pigeons have been observed to actually hold grudges against specific people who have mistreated them. In racing situations, pigeons show complex social behaviors that suggest they're thinking about more than just getting home. Some birds will deliberately fly with others, apparently using social information to improve their navigation. Others seem to engage in competitive behavior, speeding up when they encounter other pigeons or trying to overtake birds flying similar routes. A few birds appear to be natural leaders, other pigeons will follow them, suggesting some kind of recognition of superior navigation ability. The training methods that work best with pigeons also provide insight into their cognitive abilities. The most successful pigeon trainers don't just condition their birds through repetition. They actively teach them, gradually exposing them to new challenges and helping them develop problem-solving skills. 
Good trainers observe their birds closely, learning each individual's strengths and preferences, and adapting their training methods accordingly. This kind of individualized education only works if the animals being trained are capable of learning, remembering, and adapting. In other words, if they're thinking. One of the most fascinating aspects of pigeon cognition is their ability to form what researchers call cognitive maps, mental representations of spatial relationships that go far beyond simple route memorization. These birds don't just learn that flying northeast for two hours gets me home. They develop sophisticated understanding of how different landmarks relate to each other, how the landscape is organized, and how to navigate flexibly between any two points in their territory. This kind of spatial reasoning allows experienced pigeons to take shortcuts they've never flown before, to detour around obstacles while still maintaining their overall direction, and to correct course efficiently when they find themselves off-route. It's the difference between following a memorized set of turn-by-turn -turn directions and actually understanding the geography of an area well enough to navigate flexibly within it. The brain structure of pigeons provides additional evidence of their cognitive sophistication. While their brains are small compared to mammals, they're incredibly densely packed with neurons. Recent research has shown that pigeons have neural structures analogous to the mammalian cortex, the brain region associated with higher-order thinking in mammals. These brain regions show high levels of activity during navigation tasks, suggesting they're actively involved in processing complex spatial information. What's particularly interesting is that different brain regions seem to specialize in different aspects of navigation. Some areas are more active when pigeons are processing magnetic information, others when they're working with visual landmarks, still others when they're integrating information from multiple sources. This kind of functional specialization suggests a level of neural complexity that goes far beyond simple, instinctual responses. The learning curves of young pigeons also tell us a lot about their cognitive abilities. When pigeons are first learning to navigate, they make predictable types of errors. They might overshoot their destination, get confused by similar-looking landmarks, or rely too heavily on a single navigation cue. But they learn from these mistakes in ways that suggest they're actively analyzing their errors and adjusting their strategies. Over time, their navigation becomes more accurate, more efficient, and more flexible. Perhaps most remarkably, pigeons can learn to navigate in conditions that they never would have encountered in their evolutionary history. They can learn to home successfully in urban environments full of steel and concrete, around airports with constant radar interference, even in areas with significant magnetic anomalies from industrial activities. This kind of adaptability suggests cognitive flexibility that goes well beyond hardwired instinctual responses. The communication abilities of pigeons provide another window into their mental world. While they don't have complex vocalizations like some birds, pigeons do communicate with each other during flight, and this communication appears to convey navigational information. Birds flying in groups will sometimes change course collectively after what appears to be some kind of information exchange. Some researchers believe pigeons can communicate about the location of food sources, danger areas, or favorable flight conditions. Recent studies using GPS tracking have revealed that pigeons' navigation is even more sophisticated than we previously realized. Rather than flying simple, direct routes home, many birds fly surprisingly complex paths that seem to optimize for factors like energy efficiency, wind conditions, and terrain features. They'll climb to take advantage of favorable winds, descend to avoid turbulence, and make strategic detours that actually save time and energy overall. This kind of route optimization requires the ability to mentally model complex trade-offs between multiple variables, a hallmark of intelligent problem-solving. The individual personality differences in pigeons are striking and consistent over time. Some birds are naturally bold and exploratory, willing to try new routes and take risks. Others are cautious and conservative, preferring familiar paths and proven strategies. Some are highly social and prefer to fly with other birds, while others are loners who navigate independently. These personality differences affect not just how they fly, but how they learn, how they respond to challenges, and how they interact with other pigeons. What really convinced me that pigeons are genuinely thinking creatures was observing their behavior in novel situations. When confronted with completely new challenges, unusual weather conditions, unfamiliar terrain, man-made obstacles they've never encountered, Good pigeons don't just panic or give up. They problem solve. They try different approaches, evaluate the results, and adjust their strategies. They show what can only be described as creativity in finding solutions to navigation problems.
The myth that pigeons are somehow dumb or purely instinct-driven probably comes from our tendency to underestimate any intelligence that doesn't look like human intelligence. Pigeons don't use tools, they don't have complex social structures, they don't communicate with elaborate vocalizations. But they've evolved a form of intelligence perfectly suited to their ecological niche, the ability to navigate with extraordinary precision across vast distances using multiple sensory systems and flexible problem-solving strategies. What's particularly impressive is how this intelligence emerges from such a small brain. A pigeon's brain weighs only about 4 grams, but it's packed with neurons at a density much higher than mammalian brains. This suggests that intelligence isn't just about brain size, it's about how efficiently neural networks are organized and how effectively they process information. The more we learn about pigeon cognition, the more we realize how much we still don't understand. How do they integrate information from so many different sensory systems? How do they form and maintain such detailed mental maps? How do they make such accurate predictions about weather patterns and wind conditions? How do individual birds develop such distinct personalities and problem-solving styles? These questions aren't just academic curiosities. Understanding how pigeons navigate could help us develop better navigation systems for drones and autonomous vehicles. Their ability to process and integrate multiple streams of sensory information could inspire new approaches to artificial intelligence. Their remarkable spatial memory could teach us about how biological systems store and retrieve complex information. But perhaps most importantly, studying pigeon intelligence reminds us that we share this planet with creatures whose mental worlds are far richer and more complex than we ever imagined. Every time a homing pigeon successfully navigates home across hundreds of kilometers of unfamiliar territory, it's demonstrating cognitive abilities that we're only beginning to understand and appreciate. So the next time you see a pigeon on the street, take a moment to really look at it. Behind those bright, alert eyes is a brain capable of processing information in ways that would challenge our best computers, making decisions that balance multiple complex variables and remembering experiences in remarkable detail. That common pigeon might be carrying mental maps more detailed and accurate than anything we could draw, navigation abilities that put our GPS systems to shame, and problem-solving skills honed by millions of years of evolution. The question, do pigeons think, isn't really a question anymore. The evidence is overwhelming. Pigeons are thinking, learning, remembering, decision-making creatures with individual personalities and sophisticated cognitive abilities. The real question is how much more there is to discover about the remarkable minds of these extraordinary birds. If you found this deep dive into pigeon intelligence as fascinating as I do, please hit that subscribe button. I love creating content that challenges our assumptions about animal intelligence and reveals the hidden complexity of the natural world around us. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Have you ever observed behaviors in pigeons or other birds that made you think they were smarter than people give them credit for? Do you have experience with racing pigeons or other birds that showed surprising intelligence? Your observations and stories help all of us understand these remarkable creatures better. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey into the mind of the homing champion. Next time you see a pigeon, remember, you're looking at one of nature's most sophisticated navigators, equipped with cognitive abilities that we're only beginning to understand and appreciate. These birds truly are remarkable, and they deserve our respect and admiration for the incredible intelligence they demonstrate every single day.